In this video, I'm gonna share with you the best ways to maximize the space in your vehicle for car camping. When it comes to sleeping in your car, whether it's legroom or headroom, there's never enough room. But with one simple trick, you can drastically improve your car camping setup and make the most out of whatever room you have in your car. I'll be gearing this primarily towards those of you who don't yet have a sleeping setup in your car or who are in the planning stages. However, I'll also be discussing tips for living in your vehicle. So you'll wanna stick around regardless your car camping experience. And if you find something helpful today, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out a lot and it doesn't cost you anything. Look, when you're sleeping or maybe even living in your SUV, every bit of space is premium. Your car is essentially a tiny home on wheels, so it really helps to plan out all the details in advance. We've all seen pictures of sleeping platforms built up so high that you can't even roll over in bed. And then there's the no build setups, where you literally throw a mattress down on the floor of your car and you'll have plenty of headroom, but nowhere to put your gear. So what's the best option? Well, maybe instead of either or, you could have both and. And here's what I'm talking about. By choosing a sleeping setup that stows completely in the trunk of your car, you are able to free up a ton of space when you're not sleeping. So why is this so great? Because when your entire car is a permanent bed, it makes it impossible to do anything in it without feeling like, well, like you're in bed. But when you get rid of that bed, you have your car again. And with it, you reclaim all of that space. Let me put it this way. So many people plan their car camping setups entirely around their bed. But who actually goes car camping in order to sleep? No, you go car camping for the activities you do when you are awake. So rather than put the focus on the bed, why not put the focus on the space you'll have when you're not in bed? Think about all the things you can do now that you have your back seats free. You could store extra gear back there or maybe watch a movie or read a book before bed. You can take shelter from the rain or escape the bugs. You can stay warm when the sun goes down but you're not quite ready for bed. You can pick up hitchhikers or maybe just invite a couple extra buddies. You can make a meal. You can journal or work on your computer. You can hide from society because nobody expects anybody to be in their back seat with their car on. Or you could play a game of cards. The list goes on. This is huge, I can't stress it enough. Having a dedicated seat or row of seats that you can hang out in when you're not sleeping is a game changer. Now at this point you might be thinking, Grant, I've got that space. It's called the driver's seat. The front seats just don't have the space because of the pedals, the steering wheel, the dashboard and the center console, they just all box you in. Plus, the seat itself is big and bulky and it's really just designed for long stretches of sitting in one position looking straight ahead. The second row of seats, for comparison, are bench seats or smaller bucket seats. And so in my opinion, they're the perfect little nook to be productive. If you're eating food back there and you drop a crumb, you don't have to worry about it falling down between the seat and the center console. You can also typically lean these seats back or slide the whole things forward and backwards. But what I found to be the very best thing is that your legs can just fully stretch out. Just push the front seats all the way forward and you'll be amazed how much room you've got down there when you're not competing with the pedal for leg room. On most cars, the, the back seats don't split 50-50, they actually split 40-60. And on my car, the 40 split is on the left side. So I like to sit on that side leaving the 60 side available in case I want to set up my single bed. I also like having access to this center folding armrest so I can put things on. If you still don't think this is a big deal, let me tell you where I'm coming from. Back in 2020, shortly after the pandemic started, I rented out a small storage unit to store my belongings and I took to full-time living right here in my Subaru Outback. From the start of summer all the way into winter of that same year, I woke up right here in this bed. And this is also where I started my business. From market research and designing a prototype to building a website and getting my first pre-orders, it all happened right here. And I'm super thankful that I did not have to do all of that with a permanent bed in my car. This was my daily routine. Wake up and go for a run. Come back and put the bed away. I would roll up the mattress and put it in the attic. 
Then I'd make my breakfast in the backyard. After that, I'd do my chores. I would wash the dishes, drive to find a bathroom, throw away my trash, and fill up water. Then I would drive to the library to find some Wi-Fi, set up my office right here in the back seat, and get to work. When you're living tiny, it's really tempting to make everything multifunctional. But having a dedicated place to do our most important work is crucial. Think back to the start of COVID. For many of us, working from home proved to be challenging because our homes weren't set up to be offices. The temptations and distractions of home life interfered with job life. And so the same thing applies when thinking about your car build out. Implementing specific locations in your vehicle for specific tasks will greatly increase the quality of your experiences. For me, it was a complete no-brainer to have a bed that completely stowed away. In fact, that was my number one criteria for building out my car. You might solve this storage problem by simply purchasing a roof box so that you can declutter your living space. Or for others, it may just be bringing less to start with and optimizing your systems. Whatever your cup of tea, just realize that space is premium when car camping. And all the planning in the world won't work out the kinks in your system like just getting out there and figuring it out.